Welcome fellow educators. In this short video I'm going to give you an overview of an iPad app called Explain Everything. It's a whiteboard, it's a presentation tool, it's an animation tool, and it will let you draw, annotate over movies, videos, pictures, PowerPoints, PDFs, as you can see here. It'll even let you create your own shapes and animations. So to get started, I'm going to pick a PDF or PowerPoint that I've already created by clicking on the document with the plus sign. I've already set up my Google Drive, my Evernote, my Dropbox, and my WebDAV, which is the server at my school. So you can see this is my H drive. It TCAPs, it would be your Z drive. And I'm going to pick a PDF. You can see it says PDF. This is a document. It's the syllabus for my course. I'll tap on that it'll take me to a preview and I can see that my syllabus is four pages long and I can say yes this is the right document I can click back if it's not but it is so I'll click choose and explain everything will now create one slide for every page of my PowerPoint before we begin um, I want to talk about the tools on the left hand side by default you're in the move tool so that means if you take your fingers and you pinch or rotate it takes the document and it zooms it in and out and it rotates it. I'm going to click undo to put it back the way it was. And there's a button down here that has an eye with a dotted line around it. I'm going to click on that on my finger. I'll click on the document. And what I'd like to do is, you see I have the, the lines going all the way around here. I'm going to click lock rotation. And what that means is I can now pinch and zoom, but if I twist, it's not going to change the orientation of the document. So as I'm lecturing, I'll switch to the Move tool and I'll move in and out, zoom in and out to highlight what I'm speaking about. Also, there is a pencil tool. If you tap on the pencil tool, you can draw on the screen. I'll click Undo again. If you'd like a highlighter, you can click and hold on the pencil tool. You can pick the big pen tip like that. Then I'm going to come down here to the colors. I'll hold on the black. I'll pick yellow. And I'll take the opacity and I'll move that down to about right there. So let me show you what happens. When I draw on the screen, it acts as a highlighter. Okay, So that's, that's kind of nice. I'll undo that. The other lecture tool is the laser pointer. And if I click and hold on a laser pointer, I can pick an arrow. And I can highlight what I'm talking about using the arrow. Or I'll click and hold again. I can use the red dot. And then if I want to move, I've got to switch back to the move to tool, switch back to the red dot, and talk some more. So let me show you how to make a recording. I'm going to record as if I were going to talk to my students and explain the syllabus. So right here, I'll click the red record button. Hello, students. I'd like to welcome you to eTech 140, Engineering Graphics Comprehensive. It's a three-credit-hour course. I'll hit pause. You can see I've recorded 10 seconds of audio. If I rewind it, I can play it. Hello, students. I'd like to welcome you to eTech 140, Engineering Graphics Comprehensive. It's a three-credit-hour course. So you can see it records my voice Hello, students. I'd like to in my annotation. I can jump to the end. I can add to that. So I'll move this down a little bit here. And I'm going to add at the 10-second mark. I'll just record a little bit more. For this course, you will need these required resources. You'll need the book called Print Reading for Industry by Brown and Brown. You'll need Solid Edge ST4 for designers, and you'll need the Drawing and Sketching course pack. So now I'm at 27 seconds. What happens is every slide has a recording with it. If this is advanced, I'm just going to show you this. If I tap on here, this is the timeline, and it shows me my laser pointer moving around, and this wave, this waveform represents me talking. I'm going to tap on that and make it go away. But what happens is, is on every slide you go through and you record your annotation and your lecture. When you're all done with all of your slides, you click the share button right here. And this allows you to share it back to the camera roll. 
You can use this if you're just going to show it on your iPad. You can send it to YouTube and make it an unlisted video and then mail the link out to people or even make it a private video or a public video. Or you can click here and then send it right back to your Google Drive or your network drive on your school server.